Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So today I'm going to take you down memory lane. A lot of us in high school had one of these portable CD cassette players. I actually got this from a longtime high school friend. Shout out to Warren who gave me this. He is also a teacher and uh, he gave me this because it doesn't work and thought that be a, you know I could use this on a video. So I appreciate that. I could bring this in to a scrapyard as is and get electronic price, uh, but there are a lot of goodies inside. So what I want to do for you is take it apart. Uh, find a lot of them now on the side of the road as well because uh, cassettes are becoming obsolete, CDs are becoming obsolete, and people just want to get rid of these. So first thing I'm going to show you, um, there are a lot of times when people throw them out, you want to check on the back. There is a panel that I've just taken off. This panel, unfortunately, is just plastic. Uh, but if you open it, they have two options to uh, turn these on. You've got the power cord, and you also have batteries. And one of these old school stereo system boom boxes takes four large uh, batteries. So batteries are its own category at the scrapyard uh, because of the lead. So you can take battery, car batteries, uh, lawnmower batteries, any type of remote control batteries, they all go into a pile. Um, this does not have them, okay, so uh, they've already been taken out. <clears throat> there is a lot of plastic on the outside that I can't do anything with other than throw into garbage, but uh, you know, diverting as much as I can away from the landfill is obviously a good thing. The power cord, this is just your regular appliance cord. In Canada, this goes for about a dollar a pound. Uh, it's not quite a pound, but I put it away and it adds up very quickly, given all the electronics you can find. Uh, it also has two coated brass prongs. Some people leave these on for the weight. Some people take them off and put them into their coated brass bucket. Uh, that's what I do. Okay, so there's an appliance cord. <clears throat> there is also a very large antenna on the back, okay, and it's about two... I go all the way. It's about uh, a foot and a half, and it's just connected by a bolt. I've already taken the bolt off. You can see on the tip that is a nice gold brass. Okay, and this antenna, actually, if you look at it, some people might think because of the metallic, it is an aluminum or a stainless steel. But if I take a file which I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna rub it. You can see right there a nice gold color. So this is actually coated brass as well. Okay, so it's a large antenna. It obviously goes in and out. You can use it as a pointer. <laughs> but uh, this is brass. And what I'm gonna do to maximize my profit is I'm going to, there's a bolt here, I'm gonna take that bolt out and I'm gonna take this piece of gold brass out. Brass is uh, categorized into two categories. You've got gold brass and you've got brass coated, or uh, coated brass. The clean gold brass is worth more, so I'm gonna separate that. <clears throat> okay, the shell, as I've already said, does have a lot of plastic around the outside, and it's just bolted in with screws, so I need to take them out to open this off to open it up. Uh, I am also going to make sure I wear my safety glasses. I might actually open this up with a hammer. Okay, but, uh, take this plastic shell off and it should open it in half. There are a number of larger screws connecting it. Okay, the screws just go into my steel bin. I've already taken out a bunch of them, as you can see. And the nice thing is that they actually have labeled on here um, arrows to show you where the screws are. Okay, and because this is broken, I'm actually just going to speed up the process, put my safety glasses on, and I'm going to hit it with a hammer. You can see 
inside there will be a lot of different circuit boards. There is a transformer right there that I'm going to get out in a second. Okay. And <clears throat> anytime you have the circuit boards, you want to check to see what kind of circuit boards you have. There are different categories based on what's inside of them. Um, there's lower grade, there's higher grade. It depends on if there's gold. Uh, you can see right here, this is actually a nice spool of copper. Okay, that's got some tape on it, so I just got to take the tape off. There are some speakers, and some people will actually sell the speakers on eBay. <clears throat> uh, I don't. I just uh, put them into my electronics bin, and I will just bring them in um, just as electronic price or weight price. Okay, so I'm just going to pull. <clears throat> Okay, and there will be, now I'm getting into it more, you can see there is some steel here. Um, there is, if I take this off, a couple more circuit boards. Okay, and this thing is very easy to take apart, which is nice. And unfortunately, some more plastic. Usually the control knobs do have uh, some more some higher steel on them. <clears throat> Sometimes it's a copper berry motor. Okay, so I'm just going to take this out quickly. So <clears throat> this is the main a cassette deck. This is actually a copper bearing motor. Okay, and what I do is I'll just pry it off here. There's a couple little pieces of plastic on here. Um, I will bend that off. I will put this into its, uh, its copper bearing motors. Some people will open them. And what I usually do is if it is big enough, um, I may take the time to open it. This one I would not. That. Okay, but uh, so I will just throw this into my copper bearing motor. Okay, this would just be steel. Um, looking around, there isn't much more. There is a little bit of plastic on that, but scrapyards are not too picky if there's a little bit of plastic on your steel. Okay, um, this wire, there's a lot of it, very thin. This is classified as lower grade wire. And that's because um, there isn't really a lot of copper in here. Uh, there's a lot of coating. Uh, it is very light, but um, the difference between this and appliance cord is appliance cord actually has more copper in it. Okay, this, because it's lower grade, goes for about 20 cents a pound. Okay, so I, you do wanna make sure you separate this. If you were to take all your cords in together, you're going to get the lowest price. Uh, mixed wire and you'd get about 20 25 cents a pound. So you want to make sure you uh, Separate those so lower grade wire As I said, you got two speakers. Uh, I'm not going to take those out um, Until after the video the rest of this shell is plastic. Unfortunately, it's just going to go in the garbage Okay The circuit board on the bottom here is connected. I am going to take that off if I can find the right screwdriver, there it is. And there are a number of screws. I just gather them up, I make sure that I put them into a bin and uh, they go into the scrapyard as uh, steel. Or if they're good, I do actually keep a number of them as well so I don't have to buy them. Done. And some people do use a drill. Um, I don't like using a drill for screws. I just take the extra couple seconds and take the screws out with my hand. Right, and I'm looking. Is it oh, there's one. I missed one. That could definitely 
change things. There we go. So <clears throat> this would be classified as a lower grade board. Um, there, if I'm looking around, there is a small little copper spool here, but not much copper in there. There isn't any precious metals on here. There's just a little bit of steel. Um, so this would be lower grade board. Um, so there are different categories and I actually have a video on separating your circuit boards. Uh, so go check that out. But uh, because there isn't any precious metal on this one, it would be lower grade. This is the CD drive. Um, sometimes this bar is actually brass, but this one is not. There is another copper bearing motor right here. And there is a little piece of brass inside of this photo eye. Uh, I'm not gonna take it out right now because it is very small, but uh, there's actually two copper bearing motors here. So I am gonna make sure I take those off and put them in my copper bearing motor pile. The rest of this is just steel and Unfortunately, the rest of the top here handle is plastic, so it's garbage. And what I want to show you is the transformer. Okay, here's another lower grade circuit board with uh, low grade wire. The transformer is a good thing to get. And I actually do have several videos on uh, tr uh, transformers separating the copper, um, motors, so if you want to go check those out, there is a lot of copper inside them. And one more caution, just because it's bigger doesn't mean that it's going to have more copper. Okay. But this one, I'm, I'm looking at it. There is a nice coating of steel. And inside here, there is um, two spools of copper. And... What I usually do is I will open these up. I'm going to just quickly, there are a couple prongs here that connect it, that keep it closed. Uh, sometimes I can just open it this way, which I'm doing right now. Just take a pair of pliers. I want to make sure I get that prong opened. And this actually just folds around the transformer. Okay, it's a piece of steel. Then what I have is, <clears throat> you could take this in as is and get transformer price. Um, and it's about uh, 10 cents a pound uh, or 5 cents a pound. It depends on where you are, but it's inlaid with a bunch of steel. As you can see, there's steel and the steel actually is like a letter E. So it goes between the motor. So you'll have one prong that goes this way, one that goes this way, and they just keep going uh, uh, over top of each other. I'm not going to take all of them out. But what I am going to do is I will show you just how to get it started um, and how to get the copper out. Very simple. All I do first of all is I hit it with a hammer just to loosen up the prong. Okay, and the, now that I have kind of an opening, I can get the first one. Uh, I put a screwdriver in there just to separate it more. And while I'm doing this, there are other prongs that will fall off, okay? Um, sometimes you can actually just take a pair of pliers, depending on the type. I've just moved it. There are teeny tiny pieces that come out as well. If I can get this one out, yes I can. So there is my teeth. Okay, this one will be very easy to do as you can see. Now that I've started it, I should be able to just start taking them out. And again, what I like to do now that I've got it started, I'll hit it with a hammer again. Just to loosen them up. Okay, and you can see they're starting to fold out now. And usually I do this over a bucket, <laughs> but uh, I'm not going to do them all. I just want to get it started to show you the copper 
inside. And now that it's loose, I should be able to start taking out a couple. There we go. Okay, and it does get easier the further down you go. Sometimes it's just held in because there's a little bit of tape. There we go. And so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to stop there, but I'm going to show you these two spools of copper inside. Okay, so there is, there is two of them, and there is a small little bit of tape. I'm just going to pop the tape off that. There's a couple layers of tape, so I want to make sure I get it. And you can start seeing it right now. So, <clears throat> there is some really nice spools of copper in there, okay? And all I have to do is continue taking this shell off, and I have two spools of copper. What I do is I will put that into a bag, and I will separate it, okay? And this is just another bag I've just started, but uh, in a couple of my other videos where I actually take apart the transformer, I'm making really good money separating that, okay? So... Separating this, this would be number two copper wire, and your number two copper wire goes for about $1.60 a pound. So it's a lot better than keeping it as transformer weight. So just to summarize again, and the nice thing is, well, I still have the steel from the transformer, okay? I've just separated them now. So from looking at this, the shell, unfortunately, is garbage, but I have a couple nice low-grade circuit boards. I have some really nice copper from the copper spool. I have quite a bit of metal from the prongs, from the speakers. I have some lower grade copper wire. I have my appliance cord. I have a couple of my copper bearing motors that I just somehow lost. <laughs> But uh, they're around, oh, so here on these things again. And the nice thing is, well, I also have my antenna that is brass. So all in all, a lot of goodies inside here. Didn't take me that long to t separate it, take it apart. Another appliance diverted from the landfill. Again, I thank you, Warren, for uh, this boom box and you know, if you, hopefully you enjoyed the video, guys, please comment down below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video. Tin Man out.